What up? We're back on another video, and I'm going to be talking about one advantage that the Detroit Lions are going to have against a lot of defenses as this season continues. So let's get right into the video. Alright y'all, so now that we're into the video, I want to tell you guys about this one advantage that the Lions are going to have over a lot of defenses this season. And no, we're not going to be talking about the crossbar. Come on, you guys never talk about me. But instead, in this video, we're going to be talking about something that the Detroit Lions offense does that makes it really tough for defenses to stop. And they haven't even lived up to their highest potential yet. As we know, the Detroit Lions have not played their best football offensively or defensively, but definitely on the offensive side of things. They've really struggled to run the ball. But there is still one thing that they have going for them that makes it really tough for defenses to stop, and that keyword is balance. Balance. The Detroit Lions are one of the most balanced teams in the NFL offensively. They are making history. Yes, history. The Detroit Lions are making NFL history. Having four guys over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown grab. That's insane. They already had that for three weeks of the NFL season. So that is history already in the making for this Detroit Lions offense. And what's so great about it is that every single game, someone else steps up. So maybe if someone isn't really playing their best football, there's always someone else to step up. An example, last week, TJ Hawkinson was been quiet. But in week one, he was absolutely outstanding. But in week three, he was quiet. So when it came to week three, when he was quiet, we had to have rely on somebody else to step up. Who was that? Well, it was Marvin Jones and Danny Amendola. Quick update with Danny Amendola. Apparently, he is still dealing with that injury, so that's not good. But, as you can tell, though, the Detroit Lions always have someone else that can step up, and that's what's really important, and that's what's really great about this offense when I say that they have a lot of weapons and they are very balanced. That's what makes it hard for our defenses to stop. We've also really went to the running game a lot this year, but we just struggled to do it. We struggled to really have any kind of success running the football. But, if we can get that going, imagine how tough it would be for us to stop our offense. Kerryon Johnson has averaged over just two and a half yards per carry. Meanwhile, Ty Johnson is now our second string running back, and he's only had 10 carries. So, if this running game could finally get going, it'd be a huge boost to this offense that's already super balanced is already tough to stop. Even though that running game is terrible, the Detroit Lions still rank high as total offense because they are so balanced as a team. And this is something that if you remember from Matthew Stafford, he's never had this before, okay? He's never had a balanced team. Now, really, he's never had a running game. That's always been the problem with Matthew Stafford. And right now, he still doesn't really have a running game. So imagine if this Daryl Bevel offense that he says they're one piece away can finally get this running game going, this offense is going to be a problem for a lot of teams to stop and I think the Lions have that perfect opportunity this weekend against the Kansas City Chiefs if they play their own game. The Detroit Lions continue to play their own game. They're going to have a good chance against this Kansas City Chiefs team to get that running game going. The running defense for the Kansas City Chiefs is not very good but this is, means that there is a chance for the Detroit Lions to get that running game going that has struggled throughout the entire season and maybe, you know, get some traction and help out this offense because the more balanced that they are, the harder it is for defenses to know what's coming and to stop. Matt Patricia talks about this a lot with his balanced offense, saying, Certainly for us, I would say, or offensively, it's just been good to see those guys step up in those situations. Week to week's different in the NFL and defenses are different and they'll try to do different things to take certain players out of the game plan and try to force the ball in one direction, in a different direction. And that's very true. You see it with a lot of teams that maybe only have a couple of weapons or they go to the same weapons before the Detroit Lions having this mix of players when, like I said, one guy is maybe taken away by defense. Maybe a team focuses on our guy named TJ Augustin and that opens up wide receivers. Maybe this week they'll focus on Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones trying to take those guys away and it will open up TJ Augustin to have another huge game like week one. We put a lot of stress on defenses. So if this running game could finally get going, if that last piece can be finally filled in that Daryl Bevel is talking about, this offense is going to be very tough to stop for really every every team in the NFL. And it's going to give them a huge boost going through this tough stretch. As we know, we have a very tough stretch coming up for like the next three to four games. If we can get this running game going, we're going to have a really good chance to get a big lead on our division, maybe pull away some of these away wins, okay? This is a big part of our schedule. If we can get through this part of our schedule playing well, we're going to really get into the second half of the part of the schedule where it's going to be a lot lighter of a load and a really good chance to work our way up to standing. So at this point, we need to get that running game going, but we are still breaking history, making history for a team that can't run the ball right now because we are so balanced. So just imagine if this thing can get, if they can get everything clicking at the same time. The Detroit Lions offense is definitely going to be a problem in the future, I hope. And we have a really good chance, in my opinion, versus the Kansas City Chiefs to get that run game going. Let me hear your thoughts, comments below. Thank you, Prof, for watching. And I'm